Hi, let's look at the intro and some exam questions, related to the area of the arbolos. A plain semicircular, region, of radius R1, from which semicircles of radius R2, and R3, are removed, is called arbolos, as shown. Note. The sum of R2 and R3, is always equal to R1, as shown by the example values here. Let's look at the question related to the area of the arbolos. Prove that the shaded area of the arbolos is equal to the area of the red circle with diameter k, as shown. Let's find, the area of the arbolos. Since, area of a circle, is pi times radius square. Therefore, area of the semicircle, is half of that. For the area of the arbolos. Subtract the area of semicircles, with radii, r2 and r3, from the outer semicircle. And simplify the equation. So, the area of the arbolos equals pi times, product of R2 and R3. Now for the area of this red circle. Since, the radius is half of the diameter. Therefore, the area becomes Now, let's find the value of k, in terms of r2 and r3. Using the Pythagoras theorem, for this right angled triangle, we can write this equation. Similarly, following the Pythagoras theorem, for this pink right angled triangle, we can write this equation for the side fs. Now for this yellow triangle, again using the Pythagoras theorem, we can write this third equation for the side AF. Note, that angle S is 90 degrees. Because the angle at the circumference, in a semicircle, is a right angle. Let's label these three equations. Now add equation 1 and 2. Then use equation 3. Now simplify to obtain the value of k, as shown. Now let's substitute this value. In the equation for the area of the circle. This proves that the area of this circle, is the same as the area of the arbolos. Let's 
let's look at some more related exam questions. In general, for a fixed value of R1, say, P centimeters, and R2 equal to X, find an expression in X for the area of the R below's. Since R1 is equal to sum of R2 and R3, therefore, R3 is equal to R1 minus R2. Now substitute these values in the equation for the area of the R below's and simplify. Here is the required expression. Next question. Find the maximum area of an arbolos that can be formed when the value of R1 is p centimeters. Using the general expression for the area found earlier, we now need to find the maxima of the quadratic function. One method is to use calculus and find the critical points of the function. In general, a critical point of a continuous function f is a point at which the derivative is zero or undefined. The graph of a quadratic function is a U-shaped curve called a parabola, which can be concave upward or concave downward as shown. Remember, the first derivative of a function gives us the slope of the line tangent to the function at a given point. For a quadratic function, the critical point is the vertex of the parabola, where the first derivative is zero, which is the slope of the tangent line. It is interesting to note, if the second derivative is negative at a point, the graph is concave downward. If the second derivative is negative at a critical point, then the critical point is a local maximum. Now let's find the first derivative and set this equal to zero. Now, find the x value, for which, first derivative is zero. Now find the second derivative. Since the second derivative is negative, the function has a maximum point. Now, let's find this maximum value. Finally, here is the maximum area of an arbolos that can be formed when the value of R1 is p centimeters. Find the maximum area of an arbolos that can be formed in a semicircle of radius 6 centimeters. Follow the same steps as earlier, and set p equals 6. Here is the required maximum area.